Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Bob and I got a message for you today and today what we are talking about is liberty. Liberty. What is liberty? It's what everybody uh, desires and it's the biggest trick the devil is playing on us. It's just another way he tricks us. He the devil knows what we want. He, he knows our weaknesses, okay? He he has a lot of brilliance to him. And he, you know, in the Garden of Eden, he, he tempted Adam and Eve multiple ways. Uh, there's a great book that I recommend. A little off topic, but it goes right towards what the devil... Um, it, it actually, the title of the book is to hell and back by maurice rollins it came out in 1994 but at the end of each chapter and this was a secular cardiologist who got converted after many many years of studying and helping people and just by rote saying the sinner's prayer okay and one day um you know somebody was saying they were in hell they were in hell and you know there was a lot of near-death experiences well anyway the long story short was he gets converted when he realizes that hell is real because when he goes and interviews the people who went to hell they you know they didn't recall going to hell so he he he, he, he um deduce that there's a real problem in these reportings of everybody who has these near-death experiences and having only seeing you know the angel or light or whatever because he concluded that the people who go to hell are, um, block it out of their mind and in follow-up interviews none of them remember saying that they were in hell I bring that point up because in his book, he talks about how strong, how Satan tricks, tricks um, at the end of each chapter. He gives a great little spiel on how Satan tricks man in multiple different ways, in four different ways in the Garden of Eden, okay? So my point here is, is nowadays, you know, we go back to that Revelation 12, verse 12, where Satan was thrown down into the earth. And and he is furious. He's in fu full fury, trying to take people down with him. Okay, and he's got a lot of people convinced. He's got, the, you know, the whole world under his sway. It's a miracle that one person gets saved, right? So, and he, the angels in heaven faint when one um, sinner, quote unquote, repents or believes. You know, repent and believe is synonymous. As, far as I'm concerned, okay, it's it's a, uh, a uh, that's another word that's ripped out of context and misunderstood, okay. So, but let's get back to liberty, and I would say the devil's ripping that out, rip, doing all that work. But liberty is is what everybody, you know, it's what the country give me liberty, you give me death, right? Who said that, Patrick Henry, and you know, I look. I look at George Washington, right? He risked his life, you know, um, in the victory or death. And uh, you know, at some point in your life, I think you know, there was an old saying when I was in sixth grade, and they had a few sayings up there. I mean, you probably could never do this nowadays. Everything's so sterilized. But uh, it said at one at some point in the life, a man's got to take the bull by the horns. I never really understood what that meant, right? But it was great that it was up there and I didn't think about it, right? And that's the only one I remember. <laughs> but, you know, George Washington, when he crossed that Delaware, going into Trenton, he desperately needed a victory. He had five days left. The Continental Army was up. They should have been on their guard. They should have known all this. Um, you know, it was a great book, um, Spy Master by George by uh, Thomas Allen, and, and it's about how George Washington, it's called George Washington's Spy Master, how the American, Americans out 
spied the um, British and won the American Revolution. And it talked all about double agents, hate and sleeper agents, and counterintelligence, and, you know, I mean, all, all this um, spy rings. You know, and it's playing out again in the you know, last 50 years, of course, with the advent of the CIA and the FBI and, you know, the quote unquote, you know, when Obama was around, Russia wasn't a problem, but now all of a sudden Russia is a problem, supposedly. And um, so anyway, the word liberty, liberty is um, a word that Satan uses against us, you know, uh, playing, you know, what, what's that? Um, there's a saying that, you know, when you, you can play one thing off, another right and that that's what satan's doing all right he's stolen certain words in our language and redefined words even the word church has been redefined so that government can regulate it um you can wall builders talks a lot about that in americans godly heritage but liberty's been you know um you know the word gay that that word's been been in the rainbow these, you know, this is the gay, gay parade, gay, you know, gay pride week. Pride, pride's like the biggest sin, right? It's funny they chose that word, pride, but it is the biggest sin man has, is pride. Um, you know, but getting back to one of those words, and those words, you know, are very important. You know, you know, it's George Orwell on uh, Newspeak all over again. I mean, it's endless. So you know, we could talk, we could kind of get into this, but just want to focus in on the word liberty and liberal, right? So it's playing one side off the other. So the liberals are stealing that word liberty, but the liberty is really about individual freedom. You know, and I, I had a great meme. Uh, I, I probably should try to look it up, but. It'll probably take me a little bit of time, and I probably um, but not. I just thought of it, but you know the difference between liberals and um, uh, and conservatives, and uh, um, let's see if I can find it. Um, I don't know, a long shot, but, um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to find it. So I have to do some digging on my page. Is it worth it? I don't know. <laughs> but it's, it's very good. Excuse me for a minute. We're getting, drinking some root beer. Let's take a quick look, see if we can find it. This will take a minute. I should pause the video. Can I do that? I don't even know. Oh boy. Such is life. Alrighty. Stuff I did today. Yaddy, 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 yaddy. All right, so let's just get back to that word liberty. Liberty is, while I scroll down, is what I wanted to talk about. I want to bring the Bible into it. You know, Christ, it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. All right? And that's the point here. Real freedom, real liberty is found in Christ because of what he did. He went to that cross and he died for us, right? And we can be justified. We can have him vouch for us um, and we uh, believe upon hearing you know uh, the, what, 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 um, what the good news is in, in Christ you know purchasing for us uh, our salvation turn around offering you know he offered it to the thief on the cross the thief on the cross was offered salvation and he what he what did he do his whole life you know he was a sinner we were all sinners and uh, i don't know if i'm gonna be able to find it but anyway long story short 
the key is to understand what really happened. It is, you know, there's a scripture in Galatians. It is <clears throat> for freedom for Christ, that Christ has set us free. So the whole motive is to free us from what? The penalty of sin, right? So that we can, um, yeah, I don't, I don't think I have, oh, is this it? No. Anyway, um, it's, 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 it's the most, it is the motive behind the gospel is to free us because we, you know, we have fallen because of the sin of one man, we have fallen and, um, we're in this pickle. You know, it's really not our fault, but we are still responsible. That's where responsibility comes in, all right? Because we're on the hook because of what... Uh, uh, I can find that. Anyway, I'll have to look some other time. But it's... it's um Maybe AJ has it. Check a friend of mine's website, Facebook. So we have this predicament that we're all in. And that's why Christ came and died and, and allowed salvation to become something where he dictates the terms in his court. And he says, it is finished. A Greek word, you know, a famous Greek word, to the talus, I forget, I don't even know how to say it, <laughs> to tell us that. Got it, AJ. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm sure he'd be proud of me for saying that. You know, I can't believe I said it, but it is finished. So he dictates the term because he, you know, it's his ball, it's his court, you know, and he wants to. He's playing ball. He, he's he's allowing us to play. He's allowing us in. You know, he's done it. It's his it's his um, purpose that is being done now. And so Satan doesn't like that. So he's trying to confuse everybody. Doesn't want anybody to hear this simple message. And wants you to think that if you believe this message, it can't be as easy as it is. Is. So you get a lot of churches that are teaching all this stuff out there that is not um, biblically appropriate and is against the freedom that's in, you know, that you've accepted, all right? And also, if anybody comes along with a different gospel, you know, you're not, not to listen to him, you know, fear him not, fear not, you know, and, and he's to... He, that person, you know, should be accursed. That's what the Bible says, you know, because why change? You can't. You're changing something that's free, and and available, right? And you, you're putting on conditions, and that ain't right. All right, it's all about freedom. Galatians five sixteen, I believe. Galatians. Five, sixteen. I, I could be wrong. No, that's not it. But um, I will. F I'll find it out. Uh, it is for freedom that Christ set us free, and that is in Galatians five, verse one. All right. So it's for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm, then, and do not upset, uh, submit again to the yoke of slavery. Of a slavery being really trying to make a deal with God in some other way than how God dictates this term. He just says, believe, and you will be saved. Then you're justified. You're saved by God's grace. He did all the work. He reached down to you. All of the salvation, all of the plans that man has is man reaching up to God and you have to be 100% perfect 100% of the time. So once you play that game, you, you, you're going to be judged by the law. God's saying the law has been abolished. I'm reaching down to you. Here, here, here is the salvation plan. 
and we can stand firm and do not stand firm do not submit again to the yoke of slavery so don't submit again to these false salvation plans that are anti-gospel you know like lordship salvation or free will salvation or um you know anything you know there's a lot of free grace salvation out there but they end up mixing the law as it turns out and you talk to the people in the in the pews and even though their mission statement their theological statement might be orthodox you know pastors teaching something else you know i've had a pastor say to me he said you know we're talking about that scripture was says nothing can separate me from the love that's in God and it names everything. And then he said, except for yourself, you, you can separate this, you know. So that's him reading into ISO Jesus. Um, and, and that's a shame. That, it, that really is a shame. It's, it's one of the worst things out there. So um, let's take one more poke at this. Um, I'm trying to remember what it was. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever be able to find it. But so anyway, basically, um, simple message today is on one of the words that Satan has corrupted. I'm gonna try to go through a bunch of them here. That's gonna be my thing for the next foreseeable future. I'm gonna come up with these words. And we're gonna talk about them. I'm gonna try to explain them as best I can. And and. You know, liberty is the top, one of the top words. It's probably the best word. It's so important. We need to be free. You know, um, you know, we're, we're not free to sin because, you know, you, you want to play that game. I mean, you're going to sin anyway and you cover it, okay? But if you want to keep accommodating sin and entertaining sin and letting the devil come in, you know, um, you're going to lose rewards in heaven right and you, you know your reputation can be ruined here or you or you can end up causing a lot of problems for yourself here all right so you know that there's a dual prob dual duality there where you know it's not worth it so try to keep short accounts with god try to be led by the spirit live a life of love and and worship of God and surround your mind with positive things. If your work doesn't let you, you know, serve others and do good, you know, maybe you should find another line of work. If you're always suppressing others to get your money, you should look to do something else um, because it's not good for your soul. Jesus is the lover of our souls, okay? And he's the author and the perfecter of our faith. That's what the Bible says. Both of those are scriptures. And um, sorry, I don't have the chapter and verse. But you can you can Google those, okay? And it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Galatians chapter 5, verse 1. Why don't you check that out? Read that whole book. And it's all about not falling for all these new religions who say you're not good enough. Isn't that what the message always is from church? It's, you know, God wants to help you, but you're not good enough. You know, that I mean, that's like the number one message I've ever heard in church. You know, if it wasn't necessarily said in the salvation plan, it was said on your, your, your sanctification. And that was the, oh, you had to listen to that sermon. And, you know, if you didn't say that was a good sermon, there's something wrong with you, you know. I had a pastor who's, who um, taught, you know, they had somebody come in and they were talking about Romans 8, 28, how we are more than conquerors. And then afterwards, he said that he went way too, guy went too, way too far. The pastor went way too, uh, the pastor said that the guest speaker went way too far and he wanted to pull him off the stage. And I'm like, you know, no wonder the church is so screwed up, you know. Um we are more than conquerors on, on a certain level, okay? And, and that's how we have to see ourselves. We're above the fray. We're like the the piccolo, you know, that's above the harmony there. You know what I mean? That, you know, I look at somebody like Emily Dickinson, you know, 
she was above the fray. She soared. We had, we had to soar like eagles, you know. Well, uh, you read I, Isaiah 39 and 40, it talks about that. Where, you know, we had to rise above, you know, uh, above the, the, the problems of men and women and sexual issues and marital issues. Paul says, you know, marriage is a concession. And because you have, it's so hard to please the other person. And then you have to please yourself. And you will never you have problems pleasing God. So, we, you know, think about if you get married. You know, we're to rise above and be fruitful, okay? Your marriage, you know, is a gift from God, okay? But, but there is some, it's okay to be single. God, in fact, Paul says you're better off being single single that's what he says in first corinthians 7 i couldn't believe it when i read it myself so th my message today is there's tremendous freedom there's tremendous practicality and and the liberals are trying out you know right from the get-go oh i'm a liberal i'm a liberal i'm into freedom you know sexual mores and and, and whatever you, you know uh got you know i gotta be true to my own heart with well, the heart is deceitful, right? The Bible says that beyond. There is no cure for the heart. It's deceitful. Only Christ can cure it. But, you know, it seduces. See, said Satan's a seducer. He seduces you with the word liberal. And, 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 and what's in a word, right? Liberty, liberal. And we all want to be somebody who stands for liberty, Right? But that's where Satan tricks us. And that's why that word is chosen. Whereas liberals are, are not for freedom, really. They're about oppression. They're not about the individual. You know? They're about the groups and placing everybody in groups. That's why I wish I had this this meme that I could show you. And and, and um and that's that's not healthy that's it so that's why liberalism is, is a lie all right and and it's just a word to to deceive people see this whole words being deceived we're all deceived by satan that's what the bible says and that's the real problem so trying to get at the problem here by the these words that are handed over to us and of course we don't have the backdrop of the Bible as our core um, level of understanding things, and so we're forced. We, we are force fed these other words, and meanings are poured into these words, and we get tricked, and we end up doing exactly opposite what we should be doing in the name of freedom, in the name of liberty. All right. I, I mean, look at the. I mean, it, 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 the pro-choice movement, you know, they're only pro-choice to have freedom, right? On one small, big issue, killing babies. These, these same women cannot choose to educate that baby. They, they have to do it, you know, they can't have the school vouchers, right? They, they, they can't carry a gun, you know, paper, pepper, pepper spray, whatever, mace. You know, they can't choose to do these other things, right? Um, I heard it today, somebody, it's like hiring a hitman uh, to kill your own your own baby. And it screws up your inside, too. And um, so that's the, the, the message today. And I don't know if I did a good job, but I'm just trying to focus in on the word liberty. I, I know I could have hit a million... <laughs> Me and other, uh, there's so much to say about this. Maybe I'll do a part two when I have that meme. I think I will. I'll come back with a part two on this message of liberty. So I hope you stay and stand, uh, can look that up. Just look for that part one, part two. And then at, with that said, I look forward to that message. And I never done a part two before, so <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. And um, hopefully do that tomorrow. And thank you for watching my channel. My name is Bob Kelly and this is Elephants of Plenty. Have a great day.